hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be making one pot beef rice and uh, with that our ingredient will be beef we're gonna be using our onion here we're gonna be using tomatoes and I have some red bell pepper there and I also gonna be using peas we're gonna be using two cups of rice we're gonna be using salt and of course our seasoning goya without wasting much time let's head to the stove and start cooking so as you can see i have two pots here in one pot i'm gonna put my meat and in this pot i'm gonna boil my meat before i cook it and so i'm gonna add water one cup Two cups, three cups, and a half. So the reason I'm using this cup, this is the exact cup that I used for measuring rice, and so I'm using that uh, for the same amount of water, but I added a little bit more so that I'll be having enough water as my stock. For the rice and so i'm gonna put this to a boil i had already boiled the water on my boiler and so i'm just gonna let it be boiling there and for this pot i'm gonna put my onion there so i'm gonna start my pot for the rice i'm only boiling the meat so that it will be soft and it will give me stock to cook my rice and so I'll start my onion on this pot and other or all other ingredients that I'm gonna be putting are gonna come to this pot. So I'm cooking my onion here. I've already I had already added oil in it, and I want to cook my onion till it's brown. And so I'm gonna wait for it to cook. My onion is browning well here, as you can see, and I uh, I prefer to stir it all the way when it's cooking. That way, I will not be having some dark uh, onions, and some of them are not good or are white. So I stir as I cook or as they cook. So my onion is well browned and so my uh, I had already branded my tomato and bell pepper and I'm gonna pour it there and I'm gonna stir it So my meat is well boiled here and I'm gonna take it out with a sieve so that we can add it on the pot. So the reason I like to boil the meat is to make it a little soft and also it helps me to make the stock that I'm gonna be using for my rice like this is the same water i'm not gonna uh, throw it away it is the same water that i'm gonna use to cook my rice so it is so i've took uh, i've taken all my i've uh, pulled out all my uh, meat and i'm gonna turn off my stove because i don't want it to keep on boiling and so i'm gonna pour my meat to my cooking tomato and onion and so I'm gonna mix it together I'm gonna add my salt so I'm gonna add my salt remember to add salt to your liking there are people who don't eat salt so 
you have to bear in mind you don't put the same amount like I put I just put my salt to, for the food to taste I'm also gonna add my Goya this is all this is my seasoning I love Goya and I like I love this kind this one here I love this kind so that's my Goya there and I'm gonna stir my food I'm gonna let it cook for about me uh, about five minutes and I'm gonna come check on it so here is our meat and tomato and bell pepper onion and oil into oil cook and now it's time to put my rice so I'm using basmati rice I had already washed it it looks dry because I washed it and let it air dry. So I am gonna add my rice there. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir this. I know I haven't added water. Yes, I know I haven't added water, but I want her uh, to. I want the rice to catch all the deliciousness in the meat, the tomato, and all that stuff in there. And so that's why I have added my rice before my water. Yeah, so when you add your rice, make sure to keep on uh, stirring your rice so that it won't be sticking on the bottom. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna cook it for about a minute or two before I add my water. So it has been a minute or so. As you can see, look at that rice. Oh, some deliciousness in this rice. Look at the color of that. That's how the blending do to our food. When you blend the tomatoes and the, uh, our bell pepper, we get some nice color. Yeah, so here is my rice. I'm gonna start adding my water, which is my stock that I had boiled the meat with. That's my three cups and that little one there. So I have my three cups of water here. For some reason, the rice that I bought this time, somehow it's overcooking easily. That's why have three cups of water with two cups of rice and so I'm gonna let it boil before I add my peas and I'm gonna put it on medium so that it won't drain my water quickly because the heat tends to, to drain the water or the stock easily so I'm gonna put it like in medium low and let it cook slowly before I add my peas as you can see yeah. I'm just gonna let it so it's like been it, it has been like four minutes and now I'm gonna add in my peas the reason I did not add my peas earlier is because the peas we have here are very soft 
and so they tend to cook easily so that's why I added them last I'm also gonna stir, uh, I'm gonna stir my rice so that I can mix up everything and now when it dries everything will dry together so as you can see I still have water on my rice but I have added my peas my water is still on the level of the rice but I have added my peas and all the meat and everything is distributed well to the rice like nothing like everything is well distributed and so we're gonna let it simmer and cook and now with this part I'm gonna just cover my food and I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn my stove to low like for it to cook with the steam and with the uh, with the warmth of the pot so our rice is well cooked you can see our rice is here it's well cooked we still have our peas green in color so they did not overcook and meat is well distributed I'm using a fork because if you use a, a spoon a rice is so delicate so it will break it that's why I'm using a fork and I don't wanna stir it I just wanna pour it on my pot because everything is evenly distributed so I don't have to stir it again finished product as you can see our delicious rice is here our meat is well distributed our piece is well distributed as you can see that's our rice there I have already served my plate here and everything looks delicious look at that rice it's so delicious it's so yummy oh. hmm. very delicious and it's not dry so you can serve this with kachumbali you can serve it with kachumbali or you can serve it with um, avocado or any kind of stew that you want to use I like eating my rice with bananas and I have my bananas cut here so I'm gonna arrange here I don't know if you're like me but I like my rice with bananas I don't know why I got this from my cousin but I love it I don't regret it I love it so here it is my rice and bananas 